Ko, what do you see? Naruto's up ahead. Naruto! What's up, Masters? Tell us what happened. I'm on my way to see the real pain right now. Please, don't try to follow me. I need to go on alone. I want to talk to him. The real pain. Then tell me! If we go and destroy the real pain... Pain is an enemy who destroyed the whole leaf! We can never forgive him! Let's respect Naruto's wishes and just let him go on ahead alone. Thank you. Shikamaru rarely praises anyone, but he said that to me. Conan, stay out of this. But Nagato... Are you him? Are you the real pain? So the Peacemaker comes stumbling in at last. Tell me, do you hate me now? I'm the object of your vendetta. Do you wish to exact revenge on me? Killing Nagato and achieving vengeance isn't going to do a single thing to change the world. Jiraiya-sensei bequeathed to you the quest for the solution that would end this hatred. And to the peace that I shall soon construct. <laughs> from this short distance. What's wrong, Nagato? What is it? I also wanted to check something out. I wanted to see how I would actually feel. And I really can't forgive you! I want to kill you so badly I can't stop shaking! Pervy Sage said he truly believed that the day would come when everyone would understand one another. I was just excited that he was complimenting me as his student. Human love is not so worthless that you can sweep it under the rug. Shiraya Sensei's words reflect an idealism from an era that is long gone. But those are just more empty words. All you really want is to exact your own personal revenge. If that's your idea of justice, then so be it. When I found out that you'd been Pervy Sage's students too, I thought of something that I'd been wanting to ask you. So, I need to hear your stories. Then I'll give you my final response. We'll tell you everything about our pain. <laughs> Good, you're awake. Can't wait even though you're still ailing. This actually helps me heal fast. But tell me, what of the boy? Naruto's presently speaking with the real pain. Hmm? Speaking with pain? Very well. We'll tell you everything about our pain. Nagato, it's a waste of time. Just deal with him now! After all, he did crush the six pains and make it here all by himself. Two moments define my greatest pain. Let's get outside, while they're distracted. But what if they see us, Father? I'm scared. <laughs> Don't look back! Hurry! What do we do? How did this happen? I'm so sorry, kid. What happened here? Father? Mother? It was only much later that I realized that I was the one who killed those two leaf ninja. Food was so scarce, I was forced to leave my home. That's the last of it. I'm too hungry to walk. Thank you. If you hadn't just woken me up, I'd probably be dead. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be following me. I have nothing to give you. Excuse me. Do you have anything to eat you could share with me? I'm sorry, son. But I've got nothing I can give to you. These times are tough. We barely have enough for ourselves right now. I can't go 
go any farther. Am I going to die here? <laughs> but eat slowly. And a dog to boot? What's your name? Chibi. And that's how we met. How I was introduced to Conan and also to a boy named Yahiko. Wow. There's so much food here. If you're gonna stay with us, then I expect you to help find provisions too, small fry. <laughs> okay. These are hard times. We gotta fend for ourselves by any means necessary. Naive ideals won't cut it. No. We'll do whatever it takes to live, even if that means we have to steal. Got it? I'm not just gonna hand out fish for free. Go on, scram! Stingy bastard! Hey, you! Watch your tongue, you rotten brat! <sighs> Stop! That's just great! Drop that! If you're not buying, then get out of here! Thievery became the only way for us to survive. We had no other choice. But even under such harsh circumstances... You guys okay? Listen, don't feel too bad, all right? These things just sometimes happen. I guess. I've got big dreams to make come true. Once I rule the world, we'll never have to go through this kind of suffering again. Or two. Damn it! Not now! Hanzo? Against Hidden Leaf Ninja? It was Jiraiya Sensei and his two teammates that were fighting. The battle was extremely intense. And. Chibi! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Why is it always like this? That's when Yahiko's dream became my dream. If you only cry when you're beaten down, then nothing will change. We're going to learn ninjutsu. Ninjutsu? I didn't see a single one of their corpses. They all went up against Hanzo, and they survived it. I hate Hanzo. He's made the entire hidden rain village into a war zone. Then I'll find whoever did them in and become their student instead. My mind is made up. Take only non-perishable foods. Just toss the rest? No. However, we soon discovered that pursuing the Leafs' Sanmin was far from simple and was very dangerous. Don't ever take off your mask. If there are toxins in the mist, it would be the end of us. A booby trap. Hey, look! How cool am I? <laughs> We're gonna become strong, I know it! Right! right. Please, will you teach us ninjutsu? You're all ninja from the Hidden Leaf, aren't you? We've seen so many war orphans. It's always so pitiful. They'd be better off if we simply put them out of their misery right now. My parents were killed by ninja of the Hidden Leaf. But I started to realize that Jiraiya Sensei might be different. The four of us began living under the same roof together, and Yahiko was almost killed. That's when I struck out and killed that ninja instead. <laughs> you all right, Yahiko? Talk to me. It seems I had a special power inside me. He said that he just wanted us to be able to protect ourselves. But in terms of me specifically, I convinced myself that what I had done was wrong. I didn't know what I was doing. Before I realized it, the guy was dead. And I killed somebody because of it. I know that it was wrong. It was wrong! Nagato. You saved your friend's life. No one can fault you for helping a friend. Before I realized it, I'd accept it, Sensei. It's because one understands pain such as that, that one becomes generous toward others. Jiraiya Sensei seemed to be asking himself the same question. But he hadn't figured out a solution either. What has you so preoccupied? There's so much war and hatred in this world. Sometimes it seems like they're the only things that really exist. After we trained for three years, both my body and soul grew stronger. Once, a really long time ago, people did nothing but battle. It was all just one big unending war. 
It is said he traveled across the world, teaching Ninshu the Shinobi Creed. That monk was known as the Sage of the Six Paths. He was considered the savior of the world. I think he believed there would come a time when people truly would understand one another and live in harmony. Sensei entrusted me with his quest, conferring his wish for peace on me and then left the three of us. However, the world was caught up in a war between the three great nations. The stone, leaf, and sand. He proposed to make us a nexus in the effort to launch peace negotiations between the three great nations. What happened is... Yahiko died. He died? It was all merely a trap that Hanzo had laid for us. The next day at the rendezvous point where the negotiations were to occur, Hanzo's subordinates and the Hidden Leaf's Anbu Black Ops were already there. You! Redhead, use that to kill Yahiko. Just kill me. No matter what kind of pain I'm forced to endure. Nagato! Don't do it! Hurry up! Do you want this woman to die? <sighs> Yahi... Yahiko and stay still. Hmm? You're no ordinary brat, are you? Summoning Jutsu! Ghetto statue! Huh? It appears you were in the shadows as the real leader. <laughs> Teleportation Jutsu. Yahiko died. And from then on, I took over as the leader of our organization. I was wrong. I realized then that the answer I had given Jiraiya was worth nothing. Yahiko's loss. That was my second great pain. You may be right. Truth is, I think the same way you do. I'm not gonna kill you guys. You've given your answer. How can I believe in Jiraiya's words after all of this? All of those words are taken right out of this book. He wrote about a student who helped provide him with inspiration. Sensei? Yeah, what's up? So, what's going on? I still haven't figured out how to attain that yet. Aha! What is it? Well, thanks to you, I think I'm gonna be able to write a brilliant novel. Now I can return home without any worries. The three of you are all on your own from here on out. Conan, <laughs> you're gonna grow up to be a real beauty. I know it. I hope we meet again someday. But from this point forward, you three can change the fate of this land. Hmm. Huh? Just give up. I'm trying to make me give up. If there is such a thing as peace, then somehow I'm going to find it. You're actually the reincarnation of the Sage of the Six Paths. I have the feeling that your eyes may realize the hopes of that Sage. He declared that one of my students would bring about a great change to the world of the Shinobi. I believe in you, Nagato. Is the power to believe that it will happen. Amazing, Yahiko. Nice catch. I'm impressed. <laughs> I know, right? Now eat up, Nagato. Okay. I wish you'd move past it and used your power to create peace in a positive way. 
The name of the hero in this novel? His name is... His name's Naruto. I will become Hokage. And I will bring peace to the Hidden Rain. I will! How can you stand there and tell me that you will never change your mind? You think you will always believe in yourself? How can you possibly have that much faith that life won't change you? If I stop believing just because things get difficult, if the hero in this book were to change who he is, and it wouldn't be about Naruto, that's why no matter how much pain my own path brings, I'll keep walking. Because that's who Naruto is! We are sibling students, sharing the same sensei. I wasn't able to continue believing in Jiraiya's ideas. You give me a vision of a future that shows a different path from the one I've walked. I think I shall believe in you after all. I'll use Ghetto Art of Rene Rebirth. Nagato, you can't! What is it? What kind of jutsu are you doing? He is the seventh pain. <laughs> Ghetto! Although I never thought two of Jiraiya's students would be the children of prophecy, perhaps it's possible that in that moment when Jiraiya chose not to give up, that book would really become the key to changing the world.